Um, I'm going to make a review on my Trophy Ridge React site. It is a five pin site, retails right around $150. Um, this Trophy Ridge is incorporated with Bear Archery, so that's my favorite brand of archery. Um, so the React site uses their smart pin technology, which um, uses their like micro adjustments on for every pin. It sites itself in basically. You basically site in your 20 and your 20 yard pin uh, vertically and horizontally, uh, so you get it pinpointed. And then after that, you use the adjustment knob on top and you fine tune the 30 yard pin. And then once you get a 30 yard pin, you it gives you the ballpark of where 40, 50, and 60 yards is going to be. You still want to shoot um, at uh, 40, 50, and 60 yards just to make sure it is on because it will still make you want to adjust little bits inside of you still want to pinpoint it fine tune um i really like this um site just because i can continue to not have to worry about like if i ever get new accessories i can always just sight it in with at least five arrows that's all it really takes to get it sighted in perfectly um i got it sighted in totally at to 60 yards out for i don't know 10 arrows it is very accurate. They got this, the really small microfiber um, reticle in it. Um, it's uh, Trophy Ridge says that it's mathematically impossible to be inaccurate with this. The site is made out of ballistic copolymer, which is very durable. Uh, it's a really durable plastic to, like, it's basically aluminum, but a little lighter, but even more durable. Um, let's see. Um, one thing that I would suggest is finding out the speed of your bow. Make sure your bow is shooting over 260 feet per second. Just be safe so you don't have to worry about it or be prepared to push up your, um, your draw length or weight if you're still, I mean, so that way you don't have to worry about slower arrows. I mean, you can adjust, like, there's many adjustments. You can flip the sight and, like, undo it and flip it. So that way you can lower your whole um, housing downward or upward, depending on how you uh, mount your bow, how you draw back and how you, your three point mount, how, if it's a high or if it's low. Uh, mine is a low mount, so I don't have to worry about adjusting it or anything. But some people do shoot with the high mounts. I mean, it's a high uh, holding back place. Um, but make sure your bow shoots pretty decently fast so that way you don't have to worry about your arrows not being fast enough for the sight to, because your sight can only move so much. Um, in between 20 and 60 yards, the pins, it probably goes a little over an inch, the separation between the two pins. So if you are not, if you already look at your sight right now, if it's not anything bigger, you probably want to make sure you're fast enough or consider buying a different sight. The site is mainly, I like it mainly so that I don't have to worry about sighting in each individual pin. I mean, you're still going to, but you don't have to use any tools for this. It's toolless and it's very nice. Um, but the way you mount it to the bow, there is at least, I think there's five different screw holes for basically it's, they say any for any bow. But personally, I don't think that it can go for slower bows. I think it has to be 250 to 270 at the least um my bow ibo speed is 310 and i had some problems at the very beginning but i'm shooting heavier uh eastern axis arrows so they're a little heavier but i'm i've adjusted my draw length because i grew a little bit over the winter and stuff and i adjusted the draw length and weight so that it is a lot more powerful and now I'm I'm still comfortable pulling it back and everything, and it still shoots fast enough. So we're all good there. Um, I've got this mounted on my bear attitude. If you haven't seen the review, um, I'll put a link in the the description. I've got two reviews: one the in depth, and the one is just an updated version of what I what I think after like six months. So this is my review on the bear react site. Um, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below.